You know, everybody knows about the Marmon Wasp, that famous car that won the inaugural Indianapolis 500 back in 1911. Well, how about the car that ran right up against it? This is that car, 1909 Alco, American Locomotive Company, and here behind the wheel is the man who restores and takes care of it, Mr. Howard Kroplick. How you doing, Howard? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Great show today. This is an impressive piece. I mean, this is a machine that's over 100 years old, and it's sitting here looking like it's ready to rip a hole in the sky. Yeah, we drove the uh, parade lap, so we did seven miles on it. Car ran perfectly. This is absolutely incredible. The size of this engine, what are we looking at here? It's a six-cylinder. 100 horsepower, about 680 cubic inch. 680 cubic inches. And I mean, some of the advanced technology at the time with the, with the plugs right up on top of the head. This dual was dual ignition. It's dual ignition because right. this was built as a race car. So they wanted to have the dual ignition just in case one of the plugs came undone. Just incredible stuff. I mean, all this brass, all this bright work. What was it like to restore this car? It was great. It's been restored over the years. Uh, Harris Museum had this car, so they did the, one of the initial restorations. So we uh, we brought it back from, it was over in Europe for 25 years. We brought it back here to Long Island four years ago. So we made it a little more drivable. So we, we like bringing it to shows. We like driving it. And we really enjoyed uh, leading the parade today. It was great. This is an amazing piece. Now, recently they've made some replicas of the Marmon Wasp. What are the good chances that this car might actually get some kind of a replica made of it soon? Uh, you know, someday maybe, but it, it's nice to have the real thing. And uh, two years ago, we were at the Indy 500, the centennial celebration. And before the race, they had seven cars do a parade lap. The Marmon Wasp was first, we were second, and the Wasp broke down during the lap. We got to pass it. And I, it was exciting. It took 100 years, but we finally beat the Wasp. Somewhere, Ray Haroon is turning over in his grave. He's got... <laughs> this is beautiful stuff. Now, what is the condition of the car? By that, do I mean, could you actually get this car up to race speed if crawled on? Well, the car itself, uh, two years ago, we, when we got invited to do the parade lap in Indy, we really did an overhaul of the engine. We also added an oil pan so that we wouldn't be dripping oil directly onto the track. This was a total loss oiling system back yeah, in the day, just went right through the engine. It went right through the track, but we, we wanted to collect the oil, so we modified the car that way. And I'd say the car right now is running better than it has in the last 103 years. Well, it's got a caretaker like you with, with his hands on it all the time. That's got to be something amazing. Now, the car, does it see a lot of use? I mean, is it parked most of the time, or is it taken out frequently? You know, we, we like driving the car, so... We, we favor car shows where we can actually drive it. You know, there's some car shows, they actually give me an area to demonstrate the car and we give rides to people. And I, I love having kids sit in the car too. This is one of the cars where most cars say don't touch. This car, we let people come in. We want them to touch the car. We want them to touch history. That's one of the great things about this show in particular and about fellows like yourself, that hands-on approach where you're preserving the history of the car, you're allowing people to see, smell, touch, and get involved with the cars. It would make me really happy, and I'm sure a lot of people watching, if we could hear this puppy run. Is that a doable thing? Yeah, we could start her up.